I know this is a completely different take than what I had last episode. I'm saying we probably won't make the play in, but the more I thought about it, the more I just heard from training camp, uh, the more I just listened to the players talk about how they've been together all summer. They have a lot of chemistry together. RJ Barrett saying he, they, the Knicks are going to shock the world. Getting, uh, getting to taste what the playoffs is like and then, uh, you know, falling short there and then, you know, to, to not end up where we wanted to last year. I think this year we're coming even more experienced, even more hungry. We have a lot of guys that have something to prove, you know, myself included. I got everything to prove, you know, so we're, we're really coming with that mindset and uh, definitely think we're going to shock the world. I just... I, I'm thinking back to last year when RJ was saying that he's on the verge of becoming special and he's had multiple games last year where he definitely looked special. Mm -hmm. Look, think back to the New Orleans game. And being ready, he played every game of his rookie season. He's been out there and he gets the triple. The Barrett who wants to go left if he can. Wide open Kimba. Jonas, by the way, is up to 23 and 7. And on 8 of 11. Deep one. Three. Boy, Barrett has increased his range he is really and the improved. confidence factor. Right. Mm. Look out. Another that young man, hey, he has been special night. tonight. It's his night. He has been special. You give credit what credit is due. He was out there. He dropped 35 points, put the team on his back in the fourth quarter, closed them out. That Lakers game. He's a former Nick draft pick. Knocks that one down. Oh, nice spin move and RJ Barrett off to a Stanley Johnson to Barrett. Barrett spins inside. Beautiful move. RJ Barrett. Five point game. Barrett drives on Westbrook. Gets inside and throws it down. We lost that game, but who forced overtime? Fournier drives. Back out to Barrett. Barrett, three pointer. Bang! RJ Barrett ties the game. RJ Barrett did like he showed a bunch that game a whole a whole variety to his back you know he's just showing a lot throughout the end of the season he was going on a, a a huge run where he was just going 30 in the first half back to back games with like 20 points uh he was just going crazy he finished the game averaging 20 points a game he's been consistently getting better every year so I'm just really excited to see what he's going to do this year the guys who are on the team know what he's capable of they've had experience with him for three years now for the most part outside of iHeart and uh Brunson everybody's here who's in the rotation has played together um I'm hoping that like we get to see some Cam Reddish because if we do get to see some Cam Reddish that means that he's one to trust the Tibbs over Cam is like a real special kind of like skill set that we have on his team. No one else can do what he can do. So if he showed up to camp ready to play, he's been working hard all offseason and he earned Tibbs' trust, we're going to see somebody out the rotation, but that means he's most likely going to be one of our best players as well. And that adds an entirely different dynamic to the team that no one has even really considered just because Cam Reddish has been on the verge of being off the Knicks since the minute he got here. But yeah, I, I'm going on the rant. Just tell me what your overall like overview of what the Knicks is putting out there. So the one thing that I was, that was very clear, both Leon Rose, Knicks content day, Knicks training camp. Overall theme is that the Knicks want to win. Not only do they want to win, they want to be in the playoffs.